Gervich, building pyramids at Cafe 939 in, at Berkeley College of Music. We have Asen Doikin from Bulgaria, Peter Slovov on bass, and Ronan Itzik on drums. Uri Gervich, the leader and alto saxophonist. So tell me, uh, Uri, you have a band member from also Israel, Jerusalem. You're outside of Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. and you have two Bulgarians yeah. playing American music. How does that work? <laughs> uh, well, we're really playing uh, global music here, so anyone could play it. And it so is anyone open to any influence. And you started playing when you were very young. You were a teenager and already playing with your national jazz orchestra. Yeah, I started when I was uh, 10 years old. Yeah. And when you started playing this music, you actually thought it was a distinctive American tongue, as yeah, they say. Definitely. You thought it was swing. And, and it was actually until you came to America to study this music at Berkeley College of Music. Then you realize jazz is so much larger than America. Uh, definitely, yeah. It's very open music, and that's what's so special about it. You know, you can throw anything into that soup, whatever you want. So it's, it's great. We heard two original compositions by Uri. That last one was called Pyramids, and before that, uh, Nadudim, which means journeys in Hebrew. You took us on a journey right there. So, and what you're about to hear next is actually his own arrangement of a John Zorn tune from a recording that will be coming out in 2015. So, um, the story of Babel, I don't know if anybody knows, so the, the Tower of Babel, it comes from the book of Genesis, is basically a group of people decided that they wanted to migrate east and build a city into the sky to become closer to God. And in doing so, he ended up pissing them off and, he, and therefore banishing them all over the world and 
making all the different languages, what is commonly referred to as uh, the confusion of tongues by creating all these different languages. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of, uh, I don't think there's much confusion here, right? Um, yeah, we're trying to do really the opposite, I think. Just a lot of different languages, a lot of different sounds, trying to create one global sound out of, uh, to solve this confusion, you know? And, and so are you, do you feel like you're building something here? Um, hopefully, yeah, that's the goal, yeah. All right, well, well uh, why don't you continue on this journey with us uh, with this John Zorn tune. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
to Uri Gervich live on WBGO 88.3 FM in New York City and Newark, New York City metro area. I'm Simon Retner. You're listening to the Uri Gervich and Bobble. And with him, we have Asen Doikin on piano, Peter Slavov on bass, and Ronan Itzig on drums. A lot of this music you can hear on two releases that Uri put out on John Zorn's label, Zodic. Uh, that last tune, I believe, is on his latest, Bobble. And then he also has another record called Storyteller. That last tune you heard is an original composition uh, translated in Hebrew, Magic Carpet. Uh, so I, I imagine um, when I was growing up as a kid, Magic carpets were like amazing. I mean, watching Aladdin, for me, it was Disney movies. Mm -hmm. But for you, growing up in the Middle East, I'm wondering, does m the magic carpet uh, metaphorically, symbolically mean something different? Um, no, it definitely means Disney first, <laughs> like you. <laughs> but um, sorry to disappoint everybody. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, definitely I was aiming at that kind of, that sound of those tales, you know, Alibaba and the thousands and right. all that thing, you know. So I was aiming at that sound of the magic carpet. So What's really fascinating about his recordings, and I suggest people to check them out, is you actually have an oud player and you have... Uh, a lot of different instrumentalists from all over the world, as you were mentioning before. Yeah. Sort of uh, going off of this Yeah, theme. so in the city we have, uh, yeah, guys from five different uh, countries, uh, from Cuba, Argentina, Bulgaria, um, Morocco, and Israel. And, and yeah. you are actually a man of the world because your parents were my born from in Argentina. I mean yeah, my family was born in Argentina and uh, immigrated to Israel in the 70s. So um, I have uh, Argentinian blood as well, yeah. We're gonna be actually hearing a song from what you described to me as the Aster Piazzolla of Israel, which is kind yeah. of a referring to both of those influences. Yeah, well this is gonna come out later, but if, yeah. yeah la later on. Yes, yeah, we will play that. All right, well, let's continue on with this concert. This is another uh, John Zorn piece.